I hated school when I first started at Franklin High. They used to call me the bathroom bomber. Other kids got geo president and class secretary and stuff like that, but me, I got bathroom bomber. I set off 23 bombs before I didn't feel like doing it anymore. I didn't get caught because I made the bombs go off a few minutes later once I am in my next class. But I really should pass this off to Lorraine. I really shouldn't have let John talk for that long. But I suppose I did it for the same reason that he hasn't been sent to a reform school for all his bad behavior by now. His good looks. The big difference between me and John is that I have compassion. I'm not saying he doesn't have any. It's just he chooses to pre pretend that he doesn't care about anything in the world but himself. The fact that I'm his best friend shows that he isn't totally insensitive. Because, let's face it, I'm not the prettiest girl in the world, which my mother has pointed out to me on many occasions. John and I first met when I was wandering aimlessly through the neighborhood looking for someone to befriend. Our first conversation involved the word lunatic many, multiple times. Lorraine said she could be a famous writer and I would be an actor. Lorraine says she could be an actress, but I keep telling her she'd have to be a character actress, which means she would be a washwoman on her TV detective shows all the time. I'm not distorting it like she says I always am. I think her mother is to blame for all of that. She has interesting green eyes, if you ask me. Well, before the pigman died, that is. But I guess everything started when Lorraine and I and these two amboys called Dennis Coben and Norton Kelly were on these hot new phone gigs last September. <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? Yes. Go catch it, then. But then we made up a new game, in which the object was to keep the stranger talking on the phone for as long as possible. At least twice a, me a week, we'd meet up for a telephone marathon. The longest anyone ever lasted was Dennis, because he'd pick out this old woman who lived alone and was desperate to talk to anyone. She'd keep he'd keep her on the phone for 2 hours and 26 minutes. That was the record. Now, Lorraine can blame all the other things on me, but she was the one who picked out the pig man's phone number. If you ask me, I think he would have died anyways. Maybe we sped things up a little, but you really can't say if we murdered him. When it was my turn, I made believe that I'd covered my eyes with my left hand, then thumbed through the pages. And as I moved my finger down the column, I happened to spot the words Howard Avenue. Now, Howard Avenue is just a few blocks from where I live so I could pretend I belonged to the Howard Avenue Civic League or some other fictitious philanthropy. Hello? Hello, is this Mr. Angelo Pignati? It sure is. This is Miss Truman of the Howard Avenue Charities. My wife isn't home just now. I didn't call to speak to your wife, Mr. Pignati. I distinctly called to speak to you <laughs> and someone new to our cause. What did you say the name of your charity was? <laughs> is something funny? No, there's nothing funny. It's just one of the girls here at the office has told me a joke. You asked the name of our charity? The name of it is... The Lorraine and John Fund. The name of it is... The Lorraine and John Fund. Shut up, what? The name of our charity is, no is the Ellen J Fund, and we'd like to know if you'd like to contribute to it. What was the joke the girl told you? I know a lot of jokes, but my wife is the only one who laughs at them. She likes a good joke, she did, and I miss her. She's taken a little trip with my sister out to California. Did you ever hear that one about what the best get well cards you can get are? The best get well cards you to get are four aces. Ha 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 Isn't that funny? I'm sorry if I'm taking too much of your time. You wanted a donation for what charity? The LNJ Fund, Mr. Pignati. I didn't want anyone really to take advantage of the old man. Some people might have think, might have thought that's what I was doing, but not the way Norton would have. In fact, if Lorraine felt like saying one of us murdered Mr. Pignati, she should have blamed Norton. I've been thinking, and I've decided we better go over and collect the ten bucks. I've been thinking, and I've decided we definitely better not. Think of all the joy we can bring over into his life. Maybe he's poor. Look at this place. Or he could be a sex maniac. Wishful thinking. Ding Ooh, dong. dong. When Angelo Pignotti came to the door, I wish you could have seen him. He looked so glad to see us, 
I thought his eyes were going to twinkle out of his head. I just got... Hi, are you the charity people? I just got back from the zoo. I take a walk over to the zoo every day. My wife usually goes with me, but she's... But she's in California with my sister. That's why this place is such a mess. We should all go to the zoo tomorrow. Mr. Pignotti, Miss Truman and I have many other stops to make. Yes, we really shouldn't have stayed this long. Let me get the check. You really don't have to. Of course you do. That's what we came for. Of course. To whom should I make this out to? Cash will be fine. Make it out to cash. And on behalf of the L and J fund, I accept this check. Do you think you would like to go to the zoo with me someday? I love going to the zoo. Me and my wife both love animals. You like animals, huh? Oh, I forgot to show you my pigs! Okay. Oh, don't you just love them? Everyone loves pigs. I gave one to my wife to remind her of me. Don't you get it? Yes, we get it, Mr. Pignotti. We're not going to cash that check, John. If we don't cash it, he'll know something's up and he'll call the cops. Who are you kidding? I mean it, really. But wouldn't you love to go to the zoo? No. Don't be a killjoy. Why should I go to the zoo? Do you mind telling me that? Because we owe him something for stealing his money? You're a little psycho today, aren't you? The next day, John and I cut school. We made, arrangement to, we made arrangements to meet the pig man in front of the zoo at around 10 a.m. I really didn't want to go to the zoo. I didn't feel like seeing all those animals and birds and fish behind bars and glass just so that a lot of people can stare at them. At 10 o'clock sharp, Mr. Pignotti showed up. Hi, hope I'm not late. Right on time, Mr. Pignotti. Right on time. What'll it be first? Soda? Peanuts? The snake building? I would like four bags of peanuts, please. Then we went into the snake section, and John stared at the snake quiz for a few minutes. Then after that, we went into the primate building. I want you to meet Bobo. Bobo? My best friend, Bobo. At last, Bobo decided to make an appearance. He was the ugliest, most vicious-looking baboon I've ever seen in my life. After that, John and I went on the touring car. Then we left. The following day, we didn't get to the pigman's house until about 7 o'clock because we were at the cemetery. Would you like a glass of wine? That would be pleasant. He took us on a tour of the house and gave us some snacks. He also showed us a picture of his wife, Conchetta. Unfortunately, while we were up there, I found a, p a funeral bill for Conchetta, meaning she was never coming back from her trip to California. His wife is dead! What? I found her funeral bill!